Hi there and welcome to this third normal form example video. For more detail on the third normal form um, and to go through the techniques we're using here in a bit more detail please watch the third normal form video uh, understanding uh, and applying third normal form previous in this playlist. So let's have a go through some of these um, different options here. So first off we need to make sure that our uh, tables are in second normal form. Well, in previously, in the previous example video, I have gone through second normal form. I have now got my three tables here. Okay, they each have their primary keys. We've removed any partial dependencies or, you know, um, dependencies from non key attributes to parts of the primary key. So that's all done. So we are in second normal form. So we're going to be focusing on moving on to third normal form. So back on my checklist here. I'm happy that that's already taken place and now we're into all non-key attributes are not dependent on any other non-key attributes so we're not dealing with the primary key here so let's go back into our data and see where we're at with this so let's take uh, a few of our tables one by one so if we start off with um, order of well, this table here with regards to what the order and the pizza are and how many we're ordering. So if we take this uh, table here we can see that quantity is, is a non-key attribute and because there's only one of them it can't be dependent upon any other non-key attribute because there's only one non-key attribute in the first place so that table is already in third normal form. If we take the pizza table down here okay we've got the pizza code Okay, and we've got the pizza name and price. So these are the two non-key attributes. So we have to see if these are dependent upon each other. Well, we can see that the price and the pizza name are really dependent on the pizza code. They're not dependent upon uh, each other. And so in this case, those are fine as well. And we don't forget what we're looking out for with regards to third normal form is whether we have any identifiers that are outside the primary key, which in this case we don't whether or not we have any uh, fields which seem to be um, describing something that's not to do with the table. Okay, So in this case this is a pizza and both of these pizza name and price are describing the pizza so that's sort of a, another hint that we're okay. And there's no other categories like types or levels or anything like that so in this case I think we're fairly safe that this table is also in third normal form. So. If we have a look at the top table though, okay, let's have a look here. Now we've got order number and we've got order date. So order date and then we're into a selection of fields that seem to be about a customer. Now admittedly, yes, a, a, an order is made by a customer, but we seem to certainly have an identifier for a customer. Okay, so that sort of uh, immediately rings an alarm bell and we certainly, as I say, have a whole bunch of fields that are to do with the customer and really all of these fields here customer forename, surname, address, town and postcode are to do with the customer and they are dependent upon the customer ID they're not dependent upon order number so in this situation we need to move these fields out okay so we move these ones out I'm just going to move them to about there and we also need to, well if I just move this back over there and that might help me move this there, okay. So if I move that out I also need to take with it a copy of the primary key. So actually that's probably why I, in fact I'll just insert a row there. Okay, so I need to take a copy of the, it's not the primary key, sorry, the field that it was dependent upon. So in this case that is customer ID. So I'm going to copy that and paste that in there. Okay, so my customer, or the, those fields that were dependent upon another non-key attribute, in this case customer ID, have been removed with a copy of that attribute. And this is in there. So let's have a look at the total price. Now the total price isn't dependent upon the customer and it isn't dependent upon the order date, which are the two that we were looking at there. Okay, these are the other two non-key fields now. So we're quite happy now that that is in third normal form. So I need to put that into my normalization. So I had uh, order number, 
order date and kept customer ID. Uh, put these in. And also the total price. Okay, so there's the one table. We also took out all of these into their own table. Okay, so this becomes like a customer table. And this was the primary key for that. Okay, and we've got uh, the, the other two tables remain the same. So we copy these. Place those across like that. So let's just go back to our data. We've got our customer ID here. This is our primary key for that. So I'm going to need to underline that. So Control U to underline that. Okay. So I've got customer ID. Okay. Customer forename, surname, address, one town postcode. So those are all unique. Okay. And order number, order date, customer ID, total price. So again, all unique. So if I go to my third normal form, I have removed all the non-key attributes that were dependent upon other non-key attributes. Okay, each field does have a unique name and I have applied a primary key. So now that has made my tables into or compliance with third normal form.